sister I'm gonna kill you I play Kerry and she's um she's just a very like insecure girl she's part of the gang but she's like like Danielle is like her mother or father kind of figure and she really really needs her um and she's also very um she's like she's very um what's the word sexual I think like she she doesn't know how to get what she wants without kind of using her body because that's all she's been taught and even Danielle kind of enforces that upon her like that's kind of all it's her rule isn't it sort yeah. of thing so um yeah but then I also think there's one thing about Kerry I think out of the out of the group out of the gang if she was given if any of them were given a chance to leave mm. and live a different life Kerry would be the one to be like yeah I'm out and she'd like yeah. go yeah straight <laughs> yeah definitely what about your character I play Danielle um so Danielle's like kind of I think leader but she's a mother of the group um, she's really damaged she's quite masculine she's kind of had a bit of a hard um, time in terms of with men kind of in her life in and out of her life family men just in general so she's quite um, a masculine character but that's kind of her hiding thing like yeah. she just hides behind that um, and she's quite she doesn't know how to show any emotion unless it's aggression she kind of uses her controlling people as a way of like her being okay and I think she's quite lonely as well she has it like these girls and she genuinely does love these girls like that their family like that's yeah. how it is but at the same time I don't think she has anybody that she can kind of she's always inside her own head I think mm -hmm. and she's kind of got herself in a situation when she doesn't really know what else to do it's hand to mouth and these girls help her mm -hmm. with that and just are a family every day but at the same time if she could see I think I don't think she can see a way out and I don't yeah. think it's something that she can even consider and it is just day to day, day to day, day to day, but there's a lot more going on inside even though she appears really aggressive. The only way you survive is to become like them. Break your neck, neck. Break your neck, You call her escape to our face! I mean, I guess, because obviously you're listening to the stories and obviously you're fascinated by that because your lives are so far removed mm. yeah. from the kind of characters in this film, but there are people that are actually yeah. living yeah. kind of life. Mm. And I think um, Nepal, director and the writer, did a lot of research. He worked with a lot of um, peer groups and he got people together and he wrote the script with a lot of influence from people who are in that situation. So we were really, really privileged that actually what we got put in front of us was pretty much... Different. written by people who are in that situation and that's the hardest thing when you play someone who is nothing like you like to do that justice as well as, yeah. as an actor is really important so in terms of like research and I mean just go on YouTube there's just so much stuff one thing that you take took away from being in the film 
I think I just saw a slice of somebody else's life and because especially not being from London, I did not realise how much, I mean like we have gang culture, we have different types of violence, but gang culture, especially in London, like I think I really, it really opened my eyes to actually how big that is and how much, how much of a massive problem that is in the UK. Like it's not, yeah, we hear about all this stuff in America, but in the UK, like, and the day to day of people's lives, like, that really kind of hit home to me and that's definitely something that I took back. I think the biggest thing that I took was that um, a lot of the reasons why, especially like the girls who we play in the film are in, their posi in the position they are in is because of how they were brought up or mm. the, the area they're living in and it's very hard to get out of that. Yeah. So I think what I took was just never take for granted the position that you're in because yeah. one wrong never. turn can yeah, kind yeah. of put you in a position that you would never want to be in. So. Emma mentioned like how she has like some gangs in like you come from Scotland and um, but like not as bad as like what to the extreme of what we had it like we I don't have that at all like I'm not really like we've got the whole like kids getting arrested and drunk and disorderly and all that and like the vandals like the violence and stuff but I don't really have like the girl gangs and so so when I watch films like you know the, like some urban films and some ho hoodie films and you see that and you just think oh for God's sake like come on it's not that it can't be that extreme. And you came down and we talked to the people we talked to, we, we made the scenes that were made, like, we worked with all these people, mm. like, it, you, you just learn that, well, it is like that. Yeah. And that you can't just put it over your head and think, oh, it's not as extreme as that, because it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not far-fetched, it is some people's reality. Yeah. Yeah. That's why some people should see the movie. Yeah. So that's why girls, everybody should see the movie. Everybody, <laughs> that's why everybody yeah. that's true. <laughs> so thank you, girls, no good problem. luck. No problem, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One, you need to screw your face to...